Let's look at some standings. Now, on the standings on the left, you have this year, Angels currently in third, three and a half games back. Through June 11th last year, Angels were in second, three and a half games back, trailing the Oakland A's. The A's have completely flip-flopped. They were 40 and 26. And Jose was just telling us about that worst bullpen, and that definitely do it in the A's so far. But good starting pitching, good starting pitcher joins us right now in Angels analyst Mark Gubiza, Jose Mota, Patrick O'Neill. Gooby, good to see you. When you look at those numbers, how they flip-flop, and through 60 games June 11th, what does it tell you? What's What jumps out at you? Well, I mean, it, it, on the positive side, the Angels are exactly the same amount of games back as they were last year. Yep. Now, when you think about Oakland last year, and then they made a couple deals as the season progressed, you were, everyone was saying Oakland was a team to beat, period, in baseball. Now, the Astros, yeah, they, they have struggled. They're a great story at this point. But you still feel that the Angels, if they get put together one of those hot streaks, which you still envision them doing at some point, then all of a sudden you're going to feel a lot better about where you are, are in the standings right now. But the Astros, great story, no doubt about it. But Oakland last year when you're behind them, you didn't feel as comfortable coming back against Oakland as you do against the Astros. Yeah.